So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing this new upholstery tool. Hello everybody, my name is Phil and welcome to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. So today's video is a review of this new upholstery tool. Now the challenge I was finding with the older uh, Mighty Light upholstery tool, which I have had for nine plus years, is that the uh, nozzle right there, where the hot water actually comes out of, well, it can kind of make a mess, uh, especially on upholstery. On carpets, it's not that big of a deal uh, because the water is focused down into the carpets and you uh, suck it up immediately with the uh, vacuum. But with upholstery, you're dealing with having different angles and cleaning perhaps the back of the seats, maybe the sides of the seat, and water gets everywhere if you're using this original Mighty Light tool. So I was trying to find an alternative uh, without having to spend upwards of three or four hundred dollars for this upholstery tool, which Mighty does have. I read some reviews, I've done some research. Come to find out, you can only buy the entire uh, package which doesn't just have the head but it has the head the entire vacuum hose and the solution hose or the water hose which if you already have all that you don't need all of that you just want the head I couldn't get just the head for some reason um, plus doing some research I found out that that plastic nozzle that plastic head does tend to break it and even though it's made of some durable plastic some have complained as to the flimsiness of it. So I wanted to search for an alternative. Now I think I found a pretty good alternative to it. Now this tool right here is not made by Mighty, but of course you can interchange all the parts because it is essentially all the same parts to it. So the same trigger, the same solution hose, the same size, uh, quick connect inlets and outlets. So the only thing that's different is this little nozzle, which in fact you can buy these separately on either eBay or Amazon and you can buy this plastic head. It does come off. Uh, you can buy this piece separately too. Now you can hear it. It's pretty solid and it looks like it's molded from one piece. There's one little, you know, line here from the molding, but it doesn't look like there's any cracks along the edges here, which over time, these edges are going to start to fracture and crack. Anyway, I've seen that in other vacuum upholstery tools. So the benefit of this, as you can see, that injection nozzle is inside your vacuum nozzle. Now, of course, you do have a little hole here and this does have for maybe delicate upholstery, you can reduce the airflow or reduce the suction uh, by you know, opening this up, just like other vacuums uh, will reduce the suction here for delicate fabrics. But in vehicles, you're not really dealing too much with that, especially if it's a gross, nasty vehicle, then you want the most suction that you can get anyway. Now, at first, when I started using this, as you'll see uh, in, the, in the following videos, at first it felt a little weak and I don't know why. Maybe because user error, maybe this was still priming solution when I first pressed the trigger, I wasn't too impressed. But as I continued to use it, it, it actually started to work better. That could have just been me. It could have just been my, my pump um, priming itself as well. So I have a 100 PSI pump. Um, it was a new one that I had replaced in that Mighty Light. If you want to check out the video here and how to replace some of those parts in the older Mighty Light 8070s, then check out that video there. Um, but as I continued to use it, it really was a pleasant experience. Now, again, it's deceiving because you don't have the water coming out of here. So the pressure seems a little bit less but it's because it's coming out through here and being sucked out immediately. But you'll see that the moment you put it on the carpet or the upholstery, the suction of course slows down because you have resistance and the water will spread out over the entire nozzle. 
So it starts the jet here. It, it goes pretty wide, but then when you actually start using it and putting um, resistance or suction on, it spreads the water out and evenly wets uh, the surface as you pull back. And again, having the nice clear nozzle, you can see what's going on. You can actually see if it's taking up dirt um, or not. So I have been pretty impressed with this tool and I, I really like it. And it's only about a hundred bucks on Amazon or eBay. Um, preferably get it on Amazon because if you have Prime, you can get the shipping. This took uh, a while to get. I actually did order it off of eBay, um, but that was just because I was comparing different prices and I was on eBay buying a few other things. So I purchased this with that, but I definitely suggest uh, checking out the Amazon links down below and on my website uh, because you can get faster shipping with Prime. So let's see this tool in action and uh, see how it performs.
so that's it guys that is this new upholstery tools review it is pretty impressive i really do like it the fact that it doesn't make a big mess that everything is contained within the vacuum nozzle here is really a plus so if you have problems trying to clean upholstery um, and it's making a big mess then consider this tool there's a few other ones out there that are the smaller head so you don't have the the larger nozzle here um, I'll show a picture of it here but you have that nozzle but again the the um, the injection is on the outside of the nozzle but again it's it's smaller so maybe in tighter smaller areas um, and then you have this nozzle also so you'll see that the metal part of it is encased and again that just makes it easier and less messy uh, when you're cleaning upholstery especially upholstery because that can be the challenge and this does not put out as much water um, as some of the other tools as well because again it's sucking it up rather quickly so you're not saturating um, the fabrics or the carpets that much so I would say I would suggest this more for upholstery for really grungy carpets you can but if you really have grungy carpets you probably want to use the original tool because you get more power you get more PSI out of here blasting into the carpets um, you know the only part is you can't see anything but that's okay you can see the results on the carpet you can see how clean they actually get uh, when you use that so again this does have more PSI a little bit more pressure because the nozzle is on the outside but the benefit of this for upholstery is that everything is contained on the inside and it doesn't make a mess and it still works amazingly so tell me what you think if you do purchase this nozzle or if you have one already or if you have any other alternatives then let me know down below if you have used this and what you think about it uh, as well so far I'm really happy with it now in the video you saw that that upholstery was pretty trashed anyway unfortunately that vehicle was cleaned before and I didn't see any dirt coming up into the nozzle as you were cleaning it or as we were cleaning it and the fabric didn't really look that great anyway that's just going to be the case with some fabrics a lot of Toyotas and Hondas and Hyundai's the newer vehicles use this tougher canvasy, tight woven fabric that spots with just water and it's very, very difficult uh, to clean. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Again, if you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with others who may enjoy it and feel free to subscribe. Please do click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop and you don't miss stuff. And if you're interested in any of the tools or products that we use, again, click up here to our dedicated page on our website that lists tools and products that we recommend that we use on a daily basis. And you can click on those pictures, it leads you directly to Amazon where you can purchase those products easily. So we'll see you next time. Have a great day.